what is bubble sort so what is bubble sort bubble sort is a sorting algorithm the way it works is quite simple it repeatedly compares and swaps the elements which are adjacent meaning it compares the element next to it and then interchanges those elements accordingly bubble sort is usually taught in many educational institutes but in this real world of ours this algorithm is not much preferred as there are more efficient algorithms to sort items at a much faster speed as compared to bubble sort let's take a collection of numbers to sort with the bubble sort so this is how it works a code will start by checking the first number with the number next to it if the number on the left is greater than the number on the right side then it will interchange otherwise it will do nothing with that number and continue with our list first it will check if 5 is greater than 10 if that is true then it will interchange with the element next to it which is 10 otherwise it will do nothing and move on now is 5 greater than 10 no so it will continue so now is 10 greater than 2 Yes, so now our code will interchange 10 with 2. Now is 10 greater than 4? Yes, so it will again swap 10 with 4. Now is 10 greater than 1? Yes, so again interchange and continue. Now is 10 greater than 8? Yes, so again swap it. Is 10 greater than 3? Yes, so it will swap it again. Now if you see the greatest number or element in our list has come on the last position. Our code will now loop again but here's the catch this time it will loop till the position of the last element minus one starting from zero the total elements in our list is six so now the loop will run till it reaches the fifth element in our list in addition to that the greatest number from position zero to five will automatically come at the fifth position which is now the last position it will keep going through the list of data until all the data is sorted into order each time the algorithm goes through the list, it is called a pass. The total number of passes is the number of total elements minus one. So now that you have the idea of how bubble sort works, it will be easier for you to understand the algorithm of bubble sort. Now let's talk about the algorithm. So here is the algorithm. What this algorithm is saying is that from the starting position, which is the first index, Compare the first and the second element. It will then check if the larger than condition is met. If that is true, then it will interchange the left element and the right element and then continue. It will keep on following this process until all the elements are sorted. Now it's time to code. Before starting with code, I assume that you know the basic syntax of C++ working with arrays and for loops. If you don't know about it, then you should learn it first before getting started to code with the bubble sort program in C++. If you do know about it, then that's great. Let's get started. Step 1. Declaring variables. We will declare the variables. I will now declare two variables to store numbers. So I will use the data type of int, which means integer. One variable will store the size of the array and the other one to hold the number which I will name as the temp. Step 2. Making the user input the number of elements to sort. First we will print out the line saying enter the number of elements you want to sort. Then we will store that value in the array size variable. Step 3. Declaring the array. Now we will declare an array which will hold the elements to sort and its size will be the number stored inside the array size variable and its data type will also be in as we are storing numbers inside it. Step 4. Storing the elements to sort in the array. Now we will make a functionality to let the user input the numbers to sort and those numbers will be stored in the array which we declared before. We will print out a line saying enter the elements. Now we will make a for loop which will start from zero and will continue to work until it reaches the size of the array. Here we will just make it input numbers inside the array whose index will come from the value of i in our loop. In simple words, it will tell at which position to store the element inside the array. 
Step 5 Implementing Bubble Sort First, we will create a loop so that we can go through every element inside the array. Next, we will create another for loop which will work until it reaches the last element minus 1. We are doing this because when bubble sort is working, then in the first pass, the largest number in our array will automatically come at the last position. As it is at its correct position now, so we will focus on making the second largest number to reach its correct position and so on. Now in this we will compare the left and the right element. If the larger than condition is met, then the code inside this statement will start running. So now, when that condition is met, then those two elements will interchange with each other. Let's add the swap functionality. This is how it's going to swap. Let's say you have two numbers 10 and 5. Now 10 is greater than 5 so we will store the number 10 in a variable called temp then we will move the number 5 to the position of 10 and then we will take that number from our temp variable and put it in the place of 5. Step 6. Printing out the sorted list. I will first print out a line saying elements are successfully sorted. Then I will print another line saying sorted list. We will add a for loop and then we will print out all the elements inside our array. Now let's try to run. And this is our sorted list. Now let's talk about the complexity of bubble sort algorithm. If you don't know what is time complexity then I highly recommend that you first learn about what is time complexity and how it works. First we will discuss the worst case. We will take five numbers 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. In this case Bubble sort would have to do most of the work to sort these list of numbers descending order into ascending order. First, we will compare 5 and 4. So the number of comparisons is 1 and the memory access steps required to swap it would be 3. First, 5 will be stored inside the temp variable and then 4 would come at the place of 5. In the end, 5 will move to the position of number 4. So that's how the total number of memory access steps will be 3. Now we will compare 5 with 3. So again the number of comparisons will be 1 and steps will be 3. Compare 5 with 2, same result. Compare 5 with 1, same result. So the number of steps will be 16. The largest element is at its correct position. So we will focus on the second largest number now. So this will be the number of steps for the second largest element. In the third pass, the total number of steps is 8. In the last pass, the total number of steps is 4. Let's take the total steps and add them. Now the total number of elements is 5. If there were n numbers, then we may write it like this. This is the result of first n-1 natural numbers, whose result is n n-1 divided by 2. If we solve it then we will find that it is a quadratic equation and the highest order of it is n raised to the power 2 which is 2. So the complexity for it will be Now for the best case let's take a look at our code again and make a slight change to it. We will introduce a flag. Now if the array is already sorted, so then flag will be equal to 1 at the end of the first pass. So when this condition is met, we will break out of the loop.
Since we only pass through n minus 1 elements, in the best case, the complexity is linear, so it will have If you like this video, kindly hit the like button. If you have any suggestions or tips, do share it with all of us in the comment section. And make sure to subscribe this channel so you don't miss out on the upcoming videos. Thank you very much.